Animal Crossing is incredible. The community, friendship, and escape that the series offers is more important than ever in this highly polarized and political time. And in this video, I'm going to explain why it's so important that more people get into this series with the next installment. Animal Crossing New Horizons. Also, make sure to watch to the end because I'm going to be giving away a free copy of New Horizons to one of you because, well, I know a lot of people can't afford a full $60 priced game at launch and I want to give back to all of you wonderful subscribers, but don't worry, we'll get into that in just a bit. Animal Crossing has been one of my favorite franchises since I was 11 years old. Me and my siblings didn't get many games when we were young. We could expect maybe one new game on Christmas that we could play for months and months on end, and maybe one more in May or June for the summer. And of course, this game had to be shared between all of us. All 10 kids. Quick side note, yes, I'm, I'm one of 10 kids. No, we're not Mormon or Catholic. My parents just, well, they enjoy Scrabble. Regardless, this meant that every game we got, we played the nook out of, and boy did we. Every new release that I got my hands on was destined to have every digital square inch combed over and explored. Seriously, we'd dive into every nook and cranny and would really make the most of every opportunity. And this was no different when we got our hands on Animal Crossing City Folk for our Wii back in 2008. We played this game day in, day out, and for a plethora of reasons, it was actually really good for for us socially rambunctious preteens. Seriously, we were walking juice packs of chaotically concocted hormones brewed into an angst and acne riddled tween body. It was a tough time, as I'm sure it was, or is, depending on your age, for you. Truly, I don't think there could have been a better game for me at that time of my life. Why? Well, you see, if you haven't played Animal Crossing before, you need to understand that these games are very unique, tonally, emotionally, and even spiritually. They land much closer to therapeutic treatment for me compared to a regular video game. But don't fret, I know all of that sounds ridiculous, so allow me to explain what makes these games so engrossing and even magical to play. You see, in your daily life, your real life, you deal with difficult people, those who want to get something out of you for their own self-aggrandizement. These individuals are everywhere, and they can often be in positions of power over you. This could be your boss, your teacher, your annoying friend who's always asking for change even though we know damn well he's never going to pay you back. Damn it, Dennis. I, I'm not even joking. He still owes me like 10 bucks from senior year of high school. Punk. I got sidetracked. What were we talking about? Oh, right. Point is, these people are looking to exploit you, your time, and your talents. They don't really care about you. They care about what they can get from you. For this reason, a lot of people look for an escape, a chance to break free. And if you're watching this video, chances are you escape using video games. Animal Crossing is the embodiment of this escape for me and millions of other gamers. In this series, the player starts their journey by moving from some ambiguous place, though it can be assumed it is likely deserving of abandonment, to a calm, rural, almost paradoxically free village. I say paradoxically free because there are no clear objectives, except for perhaps the ultimate goal of getting out of debt. However, this isn't a goal for which you're punished should you not achieve it. Rather, it's a goal driven by your own ambition. Just like in real life, your success in this game is mostly determined by your own drive. If you want to pay off your house, it's up to you to motivate that action. After all, the moment you pay off your house in an Animal Crossing game, Tom Nook just upgrades your house again and submits a new mortgage for it. Everything you do is driven by your own internal compass and your desire for success, whatever that really means to you in the moment. I mean, really, what does success even mean? Here, I think it means freedom and achievement. You collect fossils, fish, or furniture, decorate your house carefully, build relationships with other animals in the town, all while growing in your ability to do what you want when you want. More bells means more tools at your disposal, eventually culminating in a game map that is the complete personification of the player. As you progress, you free yourself from debt and limited tools, and eventually even qualify for more expensive and exclusive products from various distributors in the game's world. And despite the anthropomorphization of a herd of barnyard animals, it's the ultimate microcosm of reality, and that makes it one hell of an escape. And I think it is important that it's a microcosm. 
If the game expanded its depth and intricacies to the point where it becomes more of a simulation, I think it would lose a lot of its approachability and the ease of its gameplay loop, which no, is not an inherently bad thing. One of the great things about Animal Crossing is that you can play it at any age with any level of seriousness and still have a great time. It's the Emperor's New Groove of Nintendo's lineup. What's his name? Of course, once you settle into your own groove in the game world, you start to build friendships, buy things that you never thought you could afford, and in a word, you thrive. And it's in that success that players find themselves overwhelmed with satisfaction. No matter where you are in life or what's going on in your life, this world is always there to welcome you with open arms. The relationships you build, the things you discover, the maps that you explore, everything serves one purpose, and that is to give you a world that you control and are confident within. It's an escape that's pure and that's untainted by the uncertainty of day-to-day -day life. Its gameplay loop is simple and straightforward, which is not an inherently bad thing because it allows you to control it yourself. It requires input and effort on the part of the player, but it never punishes you for making one decision over another. It really does serve a very unique audience. An audience that's not looking for a competitive game for the sake of being competitive. And I think if I had to summarize the entire experience that Animal Crossing brings to the table, I would say that it's wholesome. It makes you feel good, it doesn't judge you, and it provides the perfect escape for anyone who wants to give it a shot. I love Animal Crossing, and I can't wait to escape again. The world, characters, gameplay, music, and the satisfaction it offers all makes Animal Crossing good for the soul. Thank you for watching, truly. As I said at the beginning of the video, I'm giving away a free physical copy of Animal Crossing New Horizons. All you have to do to enter is head over to lukestevens.net and follow the links to enter the giveaway. Please note that rules and restrictions do apply, but I recommend that you head over there, check it out nonetheless. But with all of that being said, thank you for watching. I love you all more than you could possibly know, and I'll see you in the next video.